Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! So, we've got to reach that door, of course. <laughs> so, obviously, at the la in the last part, there was this little switchy thingy. It makes a flower bridge! And it's kind of... You, you, yeah, you're limited as to how much time you have, so you gotta keep moving when one happens, but... Another one will follow its wake, but you won't be able to... Well, actually, I was going to say, you won't be able to make the jump back to the other side of that bridge, but actually, you kind of could. Uh, if, you know, it's some hat jump tricks and stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, before I go and hit that switch, I'm going to go and up around this way and grab a couple of precarious purple coins. Oh, wait, I wanted to do that, but... Whoops! <laughs> That's okie dokie, I guess. We'll be able to recover those coins in probably five seconds or so, but anyway. <laughs> so that's switch again, and follow its path right on down. You move about the same speed as it, so there's not really much danger of like, overtaking it or something like that. You know what, maybe I should just check this really quick. Because I because there's a, like a split path dealio, and... Yeah, I just want to be sure. I don't want to miss anything here. I think that is actually something I'll want to check later, but we'll see in just a minute here, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go up and enjoy the view. Okay, so yeah, that does indeed take me to the door. But then, I think this P also takes me... Crack not on a climbing tower. But anyway, <laughs> this P also takes me to somewhere else. But, oh, oh, maybe it just leads me back to the same platform, and I totally missed that one coin, because <laughs> me fumbling around, I did not get a round of applause as a result of that. Okay, so I was right about taking the right path first. Anyway, anyway, we're waiting, we're waiting. <laughs> what if I could just long jump to that one? <laughs> just like, save time, just long jumping and hat jumping over to that door, I don't know. Might, might be the quicker method. <laughs> anyway, it's easy enough to just take this over to here, and now we've got ourselves a new climbing segment! Uh, I'm gonna take a look see around the lower segment first, just to be sure I don't miss anything. Usually the lower segments are just punishment areas, but sometimes they contain some hidden purple coins, like that poison white wave type place back at the uh, Cap Kingdom. Anyway, grab you and yeah, might as well increase our health. There we go. And we're gonna need this. So we might as well take this on up. Actually, maybe we won't need this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Uproot here is a handy guy, but well, well, I think there's a moon here. Yep. So we did need it. <laughs> Uh, can I? Oh, I was gonna say, can I like? Well, actually, I'm gonna go and get on this. I forgot about these, so I might as well get them this way. <laughs> this will work just fine. Okay, and I'll do the loop again. We're at 50% coin capacity of the purple variety. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gotta cycle around again. There we go. <laughs> I could, I could try and go for the other one, but that's not gonna, not gonna work all that well. Uh, yeah, this is the stop that I wanted to go to. There we go. And of course, there is a moon on top of here. And I guess I did a little shake to even get a bit higher than that. Remember, you can shake the. Up. I was gonna say we are remote again, but yeah. You can get a little bit of extra height by shaking the Joy-Con. Alright, I think this is nicely cleared out. So let's go... To the boss arena! And sadly, we lost our uproots. So sad, so sad. There's all sorts of like... Bracketing slash webbing that you can explore around here, but... Not now. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, we've seen three out of the four Brutals. So guess who we're gonna battle here? <laughs> oh man! 
on! Too late jumps! We snagged the three bouquet already! No, why don't you scram so we can grab the rest of the flowers as well? Or maybe I'll just make you scram! Meet Spewart! Obviously a pun on Stewart, but he spews poison. Hence the name Spewart. Yeah. <laughs> just sit on with your hats and then and then jump on his head. <laughs> there we go. How do I always flub the bosses so so badly? I swear to Arceus this should not happen on such easy bosses. And you can redirect his bounciness around to a more uh, I guess safer area and eh, I might as well grab this since I took a dumb hit on that <laughs> and eventually our UFO friend is gonna go and make himself vulnerable again <laughs> yeah it's, it, he, he sort of reminds me like the way that he makes himself immediately vulnerable after an attack pattern like this it reminds me of dare I say it boom boom <laughs> <laughs> oh, poopers. Yeah, because yeah, you can just you can just basically rush him after you uh, knock his hat off and do damage to him. And he, yeah, before he even gets to the poison part, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah! Triple moon for us. Well, multi moon for us. And it just come, of course, the title, Flower Thieves of Sky Garden. But no, 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 we're, we're, we're still not done here. I mean, that may have been a boss, but it was not the end-all, be-all solution this time. Like, what? 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 Path to the Secret Flower Field. I don't know why they put us over here. <laughs> another one of those things like at the Sand King that poops us way back over here for seemingly no good reason. Oh no, oh no, panic cycle initiating! <laughs> another identified flaky poop line, or perhaps the same thing is unclear! What is becoming with the secret flower field? Oh no! Oh, oh these are nice. These, yes! Every one of these flowers will result in a substantial speed boost! But anyway, I'm gonna see, check out more dialogue and stuff, I suppose. Oh no! I'd like to capture you, actually. If you don't mind, I would like to capture Bunny, 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 Bunny. Yes! No, no, I, I slowed you down, but I want... I, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you gotta move for that. <laughs> That's what I was looking for here. But caught hopping in the forest. There's other bunnies around certain parts and whatnot. Anyway, let's chat with you. The Mouser Monster and Minion Monster did not discover a secret flower field! The interest is just ahead, but we did not attempt it! We need assistance! Oh man! Oh man! Anyway, I should probably give you said tutorial on said flowers back there. <laughs> After one more thing here. You know, Amiibo! Oh dang it, that's the same dialogue you are. You are disappointing me. You are disappointing me. So you grab one of these. And you are super fast! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes! This is like a nice big wide area for you to practice that and stuff like that, but yeah, that's kind of why they put you back by the start to give you a tutorial on the new flowers, I, I guess. You can still warp around. <laughs> anyway, I'll grab another one. Oh, actually, I grabbed two and go! Woo! Oh, jeez, we got tanks! This is World of Tanks 101 of Doom! Oh, oh, it's known as Sherm, and it fires these rainbow balls of doom, and we're supposed to go through there to actually make progress. That's why they really put us by the start. We could have warped over here, of course, but primarily they wanted to show us about the flowers, so I, I went and it was, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that, just, just because. <laughs> what do you have to say about this situation? The entrance to the secret flower field is that way. Okay. So I guess I should probably go that way. So, obviously, you can take over them. <laughs> As, like, you take over pretty much everything else in this game. And suddenly, we are in a third-person shooter! <laughs> we can aim by tilting around our Joy-Cons. We can also do it with the right analog stick as well. But the Joy-Cons, I don't know, they, they, feel, they feel a little bit better than that to me. Probably because I'm all Metroid Prime-y. Primed, I guess you could call it. 
<laughs> anyway, you can also sheet stuff to get boxes open and stuff like that. Open up a whole load of stuff that you couldn't before. And by the way, you cannot get up these things because you cannot jump as a tank. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hello! Pull the lever to receive a seed. Okay. So we get a seed. We grab that seed. And we put a seed in a planter. Ah! I say, we put a seed in a planter. There we go. <laughs> we got a vine. And we can plant these things all over the place that you see these sorts of metal pipe with dirt in them planter dealios. But let's just focus on this one for now. And that right there. Um. Oh, poopers. <laughs> I want that. I want that badly. So I'm gonna get that. It's, it's tricky. <laughs> I totally missed where I wanted to throw my hat. Come on, Mario. You can do this. Okay. Yeah, this. I mean, yeah, it is blocking my way in the camera, but it's not that difficult to aim yourself because you got the shadow there. And there we go. I got those, and I know what to do with them later. But anyway. Let's just go up finally and get a good view of Mario's garb just because. And yes, this is like a storage station for the steam gardeners, I guess you could say. Maybe even a repair station. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, roll. No, never mind. <laughs> um, let's see here. I guess I should hit this right away. But forest charging station. And I'll hit these just for the heck of it. I don't think there's anything too important here, but just, you know, you can hit them, and if I can hit them, I'm gonna hit them. But up here, there's something. <laughs> Go! And land. It's foggy. It looks dangerous. Oh, jeez. Adjust your monitors, probably. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, we gotta collect those, but I just wanna see if there's... Okay, that's really high, so I don't think I can climb that. Don't, don't lose your footing. Don't, just keep your camera close to Mario. <laughs> I, I zoomed out a little too far there for my own good. That's not good. I think there's two moons here, by the way. Uh, I don't remember where moon number two was, but I'm just going to focus on the shards at first here. Uh, oh, shoot, 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 don't you dare. I want it. <laughs> anyway, I probably should grab on you guys. It's probably where... The moons are. It's probably leading me down this way. Yeah. I'm probably, I'll probably just end up flying around the moon area and just looking around. Obviously, lead to coins down this way. Well, that's the exit. <laughs> uh, I don't want to exit just yet. Remember, if you're, wherever you land, that's where, uh, that's where your maximum jump height starts. So you can go all the way back up. <laughs> Uh, I just want to take a look-see around, though. I just want to lose my place, though, because this is really, really foggy. But I think there's something over... Yeah, here. And I don't know if there's floor or it's so foggy. <laughs> but that's the idea of the challenge. Uh, okay, yeah, this was back near the start, so I was right about that. So that you were indeed able to go up there. Not, not, well, not at the point that I was trying to. Uh, I got, I'll just get out of here right now, just speed things along. And there we go. I'll grab another Goomba. <laughs> uh, as for the last shard, I forgot. But I say that a lot because there's a lot of stuff to collect in this game. And I guess I'll land here. Can I like, get around? Like, where am I aim even aiming at this point? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't even think adjusting your monitor will help here. I'm gonna go all the way to the yeah border. Okay, mm so I'm just gonna follow the coins where they were, uh, which was down this side here, I think. Well, actually, no. Yeah, that I think that led back to the start. Where is that last sucker? Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've reached a wall. <laughs> I'm, I'm never gonna find land again, guys. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's a very large area, it's just a thing of that you're floating around and it's very blind. But yeah, seriously, where is that last sucker? Uh, I don't know, there's found some coins. <laughs> Not purple coins, though. Hmm. I think I was very lost here when I was playing through this the first time as well. 
<laughs> uh, okay, guys. You guys gotta gotta help me navigate this place. You probably know it better than I do. <laughs> uh, okay, so where was it that I dropped off before? To a certain patch of land of some kind. I don't want to touch the land, otherwise I won't be able to get back up without navigating things. I can go underneath the, this floating structure, so that's definitely not the, the near the start area. So that's pretty safe to drop down, I think, as long as I don't go too far down, I assume. Yeah, I think I felt myself drop there. Uh, uh oh. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. At least it did something with the camera that made me feel like I dropped really quick. But yeah, seriously, there is. <laughs> where is that last sucker? Um, hmm. I don't know, but I'm not leaving until I find it. <laughs> Going down. Going down slowly. Hmm. And below the starting area, I guess. <laughs> and maybe I just missed it around the starting area. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I think there was only one moon here. Now that I think about it. Uh, anyway. So, maybe this was not... Like, maybe, maybe I'm getting the good starting area is confused, and I'm actually supposed to go down around, like, under... Yeah! I got the starting areas confused this whole time! Because <laughs> I thought that, that little peak there led to... The, the rocket over there, but no, 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 I got, I got turned around. You're supposed to do, yeah, wandering in the fog. <laughs> That's a very good name for it. <laughs> but yeah, you're supposed to turn around at some point, but yeah, I don't, I don't recall now that I think about it, there being another moon there, but if there is, I'll come back for it. Uh, I'll easily be able to get a hint to come back for that later, but anyway, let's go to the recharge station. The recharge station is crowded. <laughs> recharging, recharging. Panic, patience expiring, initiating passive <laughs> I forgot about that dialogue. <laughs> oh no, you didn't make it! You didn't make it! This is easy to pass because I get commentary. Anyway, ground pound over here. <laughs> She's getting a moon. It's just why not? Thanks for the charge. They're, you can't really do too much to help them, but. <laughs> You can indeed get yourself some coins and a moon here, just because. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I can jump up to at this moment in time there, so... Well, hopefully someone will pick you up and you'll be able to get your wheels or hover boots back up to snuff. <laughs> uh, anyway, obviously we gotta make a Goomba stack since there is Goombet hanging out over there, so let's grab the tallest Goomba stack first and... Get two stacking. Boop. Boop. Yeah, you can jump up two stacks, but higher than that, you're gonna have trouble with the Goombas unless you get on top of this. So, start with the largest stack first. Oh, oh, you're you're so handsome. Oh. And we get a moon for that. <laughs> can I just jump again? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Love in the forest ruins. And I'll scare her away. Ha ha! I'll take that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead up here just to show you that there is indeed even coins up on the very edge above the Odyssey and stuff like that. Yeah, we've gone like full circle around this place. And... Well, actually, can I get onto? Well, I probably can with Goombas, but yeah, I think I, I think I can just get th get there normally because yeah, the other Goombas I think despawned. Oh wait, no, they didn't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Cause this one. Well, actually, maybe it would be easier to get up there. Hold on, hold on. I have missed one somehow. Oh, yeah, and, then, and there's this here, too. I forgot about this. If you do a little crouchy crouch, you'll end up over here. And you'll be able to get four purple coins. You can also take a peek -see around through here to see where you are exactly, sort of, kind of. But it's, uh, it's normally something that you would see on the other side. Let's put it that way. I just happened to rem remember it while I was there now. And I, well, it's yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of easy to miss. <laughs> so I'm glad I remembered that. Uh, well, maybe it's not that easy to miss. And, and oh, I can't even get them up there. Dang it! Or well, hold on. Maybe I can at least use you guys to get up to that ledge. Like go like there and then half jump. Yeah, there we go. 
So that's one way to get those purple coins. The other way, I guess, would be to just kind of triple jump and then... Oh, well, you get what I'm saying. That's that's possible. <laughs> that's how I did it before. Anyway, sure. I'm taking over your body, whether you like it or not. And I'm going to use my very poor third-person shooter skills to tackle this wall. By tackle this wall, I mean destroy everything of this wall just because it's going to help me to make progress. And I think I'll end off the part when I reach that checkpoint up there where that arrow is. But yeah, first clear this all out. All, all this all this wall stuff here. And you can't like mega fire like super fast rates. Like, like, if, I tr like if I try mashing, see that? Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of spacing out my pacing. Anyway. I just want to clear this all out because I thought there was a moon in here somewhere. I thought, I thought, I could be wrong. Oh, there it is! I was right! <laughs> I can jump down to that, get to it from above, or, you know, or, you know, just get it on the way up. That's what I'll probably do. Well, actually, can I get that on the way up? Probably. Okay. <laughs> or jump, jump down on it from above. Yeah, behind the rock wall. That is a done, oh, a done deal. I was sliding all over the place like an amateur. <laughs> and before I hit the checkpoint, I might as well grab these purple coins. Heck yeah. And with that, well, I was going to say with that, I'm going to end off the part, but wait a second. Wait a second, more dialogue. You're not, you're not looking too hot. You need a paint job. If that's up, it's too steep for you. Try enhancing your foot speed with a flower. I shall. I shall. Well, actually, you know what? Can I break? Well, I, like, I, I can knock these around, but I mean, <laughs> just gonna see here really quick. So I thought there was something like, or maybe it's not this particular block tower thing. Yeah, maybe it's higher up, uh, but there is something. I'm gonna hit this just, just before I forget. <laughs> just like, I forgot about that one at the Sand Kingdom. I'm not gonna forget about this one now. I'm gonna just really, really quick peek around this corner. Because I thought there was something. Just, just, just for the sake of clearing out like the side paths before I end off. Uh, uh, I'll save that for the next part. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then because I forgot that there is a hat door there. I knew that there was something to collect there, but I didn't remember that it was a hat door, and that'll that'll take me a while now that I remember what it was. So. We're going to start right here next part. <laughs>